Hi guys, this is Scott Leroy and Scott Leroy Marketing coming in for another weekly tip. So today's tip is actually on how to set up the brand new 33 Touch. So if you guys have been utilizing the 33 Touch through your eEdge platform, they just relaunched a couple of them or re-added in new dates for you. All right, so some of it's the same material on there, but we can at least go through and set it up right away. Now, one thing to note, obviously, since KDB Command came out, some of y'all might not be utilizing the eEdge platform on here, but you will need your contacts in eEdge as well under the My Contacts section, or this little View Contacts link, in order to actually start up that 33 Touch. All right, so while the campaigns are currently being created over inside Command, all right, this will help to make sure that everything's running smoothly for you guys. All right, so to set up this campaign, it's pretty simple. All right, you can click the plus sign next to My Marketing in the eEdge Control Panel, and select Manage and Create Campaigns, that second option from the drop-down on here. Now the good part is this is going to be pretty much identical to the exact same way that you set it up a year ago if you've already gone through and set up this 33 touch. All right, so once we click on that, it's going to display all of our current marketing campaigns that we have set up. Everyone will automatically have this monthly newsletter that's active, but if you don't have any contacts or groups on there, all right, obviously it won't send out to anybody. Now all you'll have to do at the top right is click the Add New Campaign button up here in the little blue rectangle. Yeah. And once we do that, it's going to display all of our different campaigns that are currently available for us. Now, if you notice on here, like here's the 33 touch by your side. This is brand new for 2018. Well, obviously we're in 2019. So if I try to click on any of this, it's probably going to say that everything's been completed. So if I type in the campaign title 33 touch, and then I click this search button on here. All right, this is going to dwindle down our results to show all the different 33 touch items. So here's the by your side one for the team. And then if I scroll down a little bit further on here, all right, you'll notice then we're also gonna have one as well. So here's the one that was created back in 2016, ready for what's next. We have one on here, your local expert that was created back in 2017. All right, but if you notice on here, this one says it's for 2018 to 2019, so we probably wanna hold off on that one. But this one on here says it's for 2019 to 2020. All right, so then we can use the regular one, or if you're on a team and you want to make everything, you know, obviously more team-oriented or plural, then they have the team option on here too. So all we'd have to do is click on the Choose This Template option. All right, and then if you want to, you can rename, obviously, the name of the campaign. You can come on here and you can actually specify, hey, this is where I can update all of our different pieces that are coming out. All right, and once again, everything's completely customizable. All right, you can click this X button if you want to delete anything. You can click the Personalize option if it'll allow you to personalize it even further. All right, completely up to you. But in this case, if you do want to launch anything, just make sure whenever you have gone through and edited everything on here for step two, that you select the Save and Continue option. There we go. Step three on here is where you can actually add your contacts from your back end, or you can even add groups on here too. All right, so if you want to add in particular groups that you have set up inside eEdge, you're definitely more than welcome to. All right, or of course, you can click on the Contacts option on here, too, to add inside any contact that you prefer. All right, so I'll add myself over, for instance, and as long as they're on the right-hand side, they are good to go as well. All right, so then I'll click the Save Changes option, and the final thing we'll need to click on is Step 4 to activate this campaign. Now, if this pops up, this always seems to pop up, even though, if you notice, I saved everything on here, so I can just go ahead and click on Continue. All right, and then all we'll have to do is click this one button that says, I reviewed this campaign's recipients, and I agree that all email recipients have opted in to receive email from me. All right, now, if you do happen to have any type of featured properties on your eEdge backend, you can also showcase them, too. They'll just pop up at the very bottom of the email pieces. And then, of course, whenever this campaign is completed, you can automatically add these contacts over to a different campaign that you currently have active or paused to. All right, so once I complete this, I can click the Activate Campaign option. I can save it if I want to come back to it. I can cancel this if I want to update other items. Or this is the one location where you can actually delete your campaign, too. All right, so if I click on say, or Activate Campaign on here, though, then if you notice, it's now activated. I have one contact on here. Currently 24 email pieces are set to come out, 14 you know, items or tasks for us to do. I can view the performance of the campaign, I can duplicate it as well, and then I can even see where it's going to add to next whenever this campaign is completed. All right, and if you ever want to, you can also pause it just by clicking on the activate option over here too. So that's how you can set up your 33 touch. And then there's also a way on here, all right, if you click on the add new campaign option, 
to set up the new This Month in Real Estate campaign. Now that one's a little bit less than obviously the 33 pieces that'll be coming out the entire year. All right, but if I click on that option, then I can actually just type inside this month, all right, for the campaign title, and I'll search for it. And here we go. All right, 12 Direct this month in real estate. It's for 2019 to 2020. All right, so this is that one piece per month that just comes out typically around the 14th, 15th, or 16th of the month. All right, that'll basically just include, you know, new statistics, new data on the real estate market. All right, so if you do want to also continue to send this out as well, you're definitely more than welcome to. You can once again click choose this template and walk through the exact same steps to add that in too. All right, so you'll go through step two, three, and then four on here as well. All right, so this is a great way to actually get these campaigns up and running, specifically that 33 touch campaign. All right, while the, can sorry, the command campaign, it's kind of hard to say, the command campaigns are currently being created. All right, so there you go. So that's how simple it is to set up your new 33 touch and how you can actually utilize it right away. So there you go, so that is your MyKW tip for the day.